Medications to cause growth hormone release include arginine. Arginine is an amino acid which is already found in our blood and is found in many foods. For instance, it's found in a glass of milk. To use arginine to test for growth hormone deficiency, it's given into a vein, that means it's given intravenously, over half an hour. Some medications in pill form, which are also used to treat other common conditions so doctors know a lot about how they work, can also be used to help stimulate growth hormone release. One of them is a pill called L-DOPA. It comes as a medication called Carbidopa, L-DOPA. And this is a medication which is used a lot in grown-ups who have Parkinson's disease, but a single dose is given to release growth hormone. Clonidine is another medication that can be used. It can also be used to help people sleep or to lower blood pressure. And propranolol is the last medication that we sometimes use. It's also sometimes used to treat high blood pressure. Your pediatric endocrinologist will explain to you which of these medications will be used during your child's growth hormone test and tell you why this choice has been made. And the pediatrician will also explain to you the side effects of the medications that have been chosen, most of which are very uncommon.